Hello, well, we're here, we're, we're here. here in that light swimwear. <laughs> hey, you guys, welcome to another. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can't hear I me. Can hear, I can hear me. I can hear you, but I can't hear me. Hello, come on, come on. <laughs> It's Get Gary. It together, it I want to help you to the T. Come on, Gary. <laughs> Is it working? Oh, yeah. yeah. You're, you're I don't hear me. You, I hear you. Can you. Okay. I swear to God, Gary, if I go back and watch this video and I can't hear myself, you'll you be looking know. for another place to stay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, like that. <laughs> welcome to another. Uh, welcome to another. Welcome to Pick a Struggle. God, I'm trying to get that right because last time I struggle to say it. I know. Welcome to Pick a Struggle. That's the struggle for today. Say Pick a Struggle. Yeah, that's my struggle (laughs) today. I can't say the the own. I can't say the show right. Mm -hmm. But we are here live at the Global Life Park. uh, We are here live at Fishbowl Network at Global Life Park. Okay. (sighs) You been drinking that? Huh? You been drinking? Excuse you. I'm going to need you to get a recliner and relax in your own business. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, of course, this is one of your hosts, Dre J, all day, every day, with the lovely LaPree. LaPree, hey, y'all. How y'all doing out there social media? Right. Oh, my goodness. So much is going on. This so week was much. a whole lot better. Than last week? Yeah. With a pass. Two, three months. <laughs> oh, you talking about this <laughs> overall? Yeah, just general, overall. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. been really, really nice. Mm-hmm. How was your week? It was good. I went to work. <laughs> Finally. I had a, a semi-easy job at work. I was taking temperatures all day for eight hours for well, five praise days. praise be to God for people like you. Right. I was on the front line. Yeah. And I asked my boss. I was like, you, you know. You are essential. I am very essential. I'm putting my life on the line. <laughs> <laughs> when do I get my essential pay? Was, but, there, um, was there anybody that you had to turn around because something went right about them? I did have two people, two or three people that had like a hundred degree temperature, and I just made them sit down for a few minutes. Let me and see, yeah. After a while, and but I didn't have to send anybody home. But after a while, they were all right. Yeah, people were begging to go home. They're like, "Can I go?" <laughs> I'm like, "No, <laughs> you 97.9. Go ahead and go clock in." But um, yes, yeah, so I did that and. Um, that's pretty much it. I was going to go to the lake this weekend, but I didn't get a chance to make it out there. My car did break down. Oh, I know. I had to get my car fixed. She was sick. She was coughing and stuff. Her car got the coronavirus. She had corona. (laughs) (laughs) She had that corona, y'all. She was overheating and everything. She had a fever. Right, but you got it fixed. I got her fixed. She good now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, yeah, that's it. That's it. Mm-hmm. That sounds so boring. It was very exciting. Oh, it was? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> My week was very exciting. Right. Mine was boring as hell. What you do? I didn't do anything. I had, um, of course, since I haven't had any meat for like three weeks almost, mm-hmm. still going good. <laughs> we need to hook you up with somebody. <laughs> Why are you laughing? We need to hook you up. Every you said you, you ain't had it, no yeah. meat. Oh, you talking about, about actual like protein. I'm talking about actual protein. cows. Oh, he talking about protein, turkey. not that meat. Gary, quit being oh, okay. nasty. I thought you, I wasn't sure if you was vegetarian or celibate. Like, which? Yeah, because I thought that's why I said we need to hook you up with somebody. Because I thought, yeah, but no. then you was talking it's about protein. We well, about you, if we talking about that, it's been longer than that. Oh, Dang. a good six, seven years strong, and I'm proud of you. Years? Out. Yes. A drought. Mm-hmm. Why? That, right? That's a what choice, happened? Right? What's going on? That it's a joy for me because, uh, because back in the day. Used to do a lot. He was a young Thundercat. <laughs> <laughs> Back then, I used to do a lot and I used to party and, you know, I used to do a whole lot of stuff. Okay. And so the fact that I've gone this long without it is, I've learned a lot. That's like crazy. I've put my focus into other things. That's crazy. And into just learning and studying and reading about certain things. So it's been good for me. But I feel like it. Did you get to a point where, like, you had to stop that? No. Okay. Well, let me tell you what slowed me down. I did my first. Well, since we're talking about that, I didn't even want to. But since Gary brought it up. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> what slowed me down was when I went to college. I went to college mm-hmm. and 
uh, TCC was doing free HIV AIDS tests, mm-hmm. and I had did my first one ever, mm-hmm. and it kind of scared me, mm-hmm. man, because I used to party a lot. Yeah, and so when I first took it, I was cleared, and then that's when I slowed down because I was like, that's when yeah. you know Reality it kind of hit me. Is. Yeah, yo, that's like, real. It could have been in a different, could have been a different outcome. Amen. Yeah. Especially right. since I have found out a couple of friends of mine did have the virus. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, Man. okay, this kind of, you know, kind of hit close to me. And then right. I had slowed down and then I took a second one and a third one. And then after the third one, I was like, after these times I have been cleared mm-hmm. and I'm good. So I'm good. Like, I don't want to risk it anymore. Like, yeah, right. yeah. Tired of going to take a test, feeling right. anxiety. And, all and that. then there's been other times where, um, where I was hospitalized, but I'll go into that a little bit later. Right. Right. And so after that, after being hospitalized over something else and then taking my HIV and AIDS test and they're coming out negative, I was like, I'm gonna have to be more conscious. Yeah. But we'll be in more conscious. That's when I just completely went dry Turkey Man. and was like, I'm done so why you did why did you choose it just to be abstinent versus using condoms because <laughs> condoms <laughs> Gary, what's, what's wrong what? with you oh, why are you like... so giggling i know god leave <laughs> gary's like condoms <laughs> <laughs> you don't do that right <laughs> but uh <laughs> Right, it's because how she said it. Like, Cause oh, con- you'd rather not do it. Because condoms, do condoms do help, but I really wasn't. I after going so long without it, like a certain period of time, it didn't matter if they had a condom or not. I just didn't want to put forth the energy into having sex. Because mm-hmm. I was, so I, was, it's I, was not- I was doing other stuff. I, at this time, I was working like three jobs gotcha. and had a puppy. I was like, I ain't got time. You're a single dad. You yeah. had stuff to do. I got you. I got a whole So bunch sex of- was like the last thing right. on the list. And then, I understand that. Then going so long, it was just like, I've had it and I know what it feels like. Ain't no point of me rushing into something or going to look for something. That's I true. Really. But I mean, I'm kind of like one of those people like, yeah, I had ice cream. It tastes good. I don't want to just stop, never have ice cream again. I want to eventually. Yeah. You know, it's just, so. it's not on, it's not a priority. It's not a priority. Anymore. I got That's you. That's what it is. I, I actually respect that. I like, I like that a lot because most people like, I got to have, I got to get this. Right. I got to have these. I can't I gotta go have without. a bowl of ice cream before I go to bed. Every, and day. every day. Yeah. Like they, they act like life will, ch- <laughs> will stop <laughs> right. if they can't get what they want. And you know, it's ridiculous. Yeah. It's all and, about and your and mindset. Not only that, seeing so many people in my community being so nonchalant and mm. very, carefree about it i was like i used to be that i don't want to be that anymore and just seeing so many people do certain things i'm just okay i don't want to yeah. i don't want to jeopardize myself yeah. and the numbers are staggering it's crazy mm-hmm. to be honest like when you look at the local numbers like across america is wild like how many people are like you know uh positive for hiv and aids and then just like dallas alone yeah and then you got some people who don't want to disclose that certain information uh, yeah people don't want to tell yeah, you yeah i knew a famous youtuber who didn't want to do that fear oh, of embarrassment i had a crazy situation. he shared he shared on his channel that he was hiv positive but he felt as if if he came in contact with a partner that he wanted to have sex with he didn't feel like he shouldn't have to because he had already said it he, he had already said it, and then he was taking medicine to so where he would his, spread it yeah i got you i think then and he was probably, the, he was the black charlie sheen if you wow <laughs> that's that's a lot it is prime month you guys so if y'all wasn't aware of that right but, but next month I don't want to link on on that, but yeah, next next week we will be talking about gay stuff. Oh, all, all hour. <laughs> yeah. So if hour. you're phobia, if you have some type of phobia, do not right. watch, comment, or tune share. in if you want to learn. Yeah, because yeah. there's yeah, gonna be some I, good stuff. If you do but, have a phobia, tune in. Right, because that's what you need to know. But real quick before we move on, I just want everybody to know that being safe and being and disclosing. If you're going to be sexual, sexually active, active with someone, even if you use protect, protection, you definitely need to disclose it because and let that person make a choice to say, okay, I want to pursue, yeah. or I, I want to move forward, or I don't. Because yeah. some people be like, you know, okay, that's cool, let's just use protection and move on. Because I'm, I, I feel you, I but some people be like, 
Yeah, it is a crime to. to it, yeah, it's a crime to, to not disclose. To not disclose if you do have something um, that could potentially be uh, be deadly. But I think now people have got so relaxed about it because they do have the HIV. Uh, medication that keeps you from passing right. it and it's not detectable so people are like well i ain't gotta say nothing right. and they I got am. this goofy ass pill that keeps you from getting it right and i heard of that too i forget what is it called triple. plan c i don't know what so, it's called i thought it was trip no truvada okay. truvada yeah you ever no. seen them commercials that yeah, is truvada yeah. something like that i can't think but of it yeah because i was like i ain't gonna do it i'm not gonna pay for a pill right. abstinence always works it works, but it ain't that fun. Or like, so, or like solo dolo. <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm just saying it works, but well, you ain't lying. No. <laughs> I mean, you you can only have right. fun by yourself for so long. It's time for you to. I don't know. I've been yeah, doing it for a long time, them. and I'm still having fun. Yeah. I mean, it's always gonna be fun, but I'm just saying sometimes you want yeah. you want to share your fun. So yeah, just be safe, okay. guys. That's share all it is. Fun. Right. <laughs> oh, and then I got a tattoo. Yay. Hey. I'm so happy. I'm so proud of that. Put it on camera. Let's then, see. Let's see. They, I don't know how to. Yeah, hold let your let hand down it. so they can see the trunk. Yeah. The elephant trunk. That looks legit. That's cute. I like it. Wow. What tripped me out about it is. Who did uh, it? Huh? Who did it? Uh, I forgot his name. Bubba. What's his, yeah. one? What's the his one, handle? The one. The <laughs> only thing he got an Instagram because I know his phone number. But uh, he's the one that did Gary's tattoo a week or so ago. Yeah, yeah, two live weeks. on yeah. the show. Yeah, I was Gary show straight, straight with strip, or straightforward something? with strip, straightforward with strip. Yeah, yeah, we're not even gonna get into how you got that name, but <laughs> <laughs> your face, but uh, but yeah, he did it, I'm and a whole meme over here. uh, thank God for Gary because all the other people I was trying to get in contact with, they was kind of being nonchalant about it like they didn't want to make any money well yeah. i like that say oh, that one more again i know i'm gonna say gary did you hear that yeah yeah say that one more again thank god for gary yo uh, i like I how that sound <laughs> yeah <laughs> y'all threw me off of me i was like what did i say <laughs> anywho thank god for gary well yeah but uh gary he got he had a connection that was able to get in get back in contact with me because with me when i make a decision about something i need to do it right then and that otherwise i'll put it off right and so Bubba had got in contact with me. He reached back out to me and answered, and then I went to his uh, I went to his house and did the ta- did the tattoo. And I you was see all his like, kids. Yes, <laughs> not all of them, but uh, Jesus, that was a lot. Yeah, and he be talking yeah. about my house. Yeah, Jesus. My, my, my brother really does. Have <laughs> and he kids. got babies, babies. Oh yeah, little bitty babies. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see not a nan teenager in there. Yeah. Ooh, they they been busy. Yeah, he got a little league over there. Mm-mm. And I was like, oh, my God. Then you're going to appreciate my house with my teenagers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a like, little bit. Selfie fishing. They don't need right. me. Ain't and nobody his, doing too much crying and stuff. And his, uh, his wife or baby mama or whatever they, they call themselves, she was really nice. And it was just so funny because she got an elephant a couple of days ago. Oh, okay. And so when I got mine, she was like, oh, that's neat. Can I? I was like, no, don't take my design. Right. Really? No, do something else. I better get a different one. Right. Better get a Dumbo or something. <laughs> that's, his, that's his wife. They're legally married. That's Shout out wife. to they black, are? black love. Black, black love. Amen. Amen. Black wives, black husbands, all that. Heck yeah. Um. What I was gonna say, I forget. But oh, was Bubba? Was he uh, like cooking shrimp over there when you got it? When you got there? <laughs> <laughs> no, he won't. He won't cooking no shrimp. Nothing, what no. was Forrest? Was Forrest there? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 No, nah, he he wasn't cooking. He wasn't doing nothing, and then uh, it was just funny. But the drive did kill me. Yeah. Oh my god. Cause he stay out yonder. Huh? Way out yonder. <laughs> I was just like, oh my god. Like well, it, you, it was worth it though. Yeah, it no was. Work, no work. And I can't wait to go back. Okay, what you getting next? I'm getting uh, well, I got my first tattoo retouched, but I got different ideas for it, and then I got other ideas where I got other tattoos that I wanted to get. Okay, and so I just can't wait. But the thing that tripped me out was when I had showed my little sister. I was like, you know, I got a, I got a tattoo, and she was like, oh, that's the Buddhist god. Yeah. <laughs> I was like. What the hell sister. you know about that? <laughs> little she was, sister been studying. Right. <laughs> Even though she in summer school. But, uh, you know, hey. Can't right. win them all. Can't win them all. Exactly. <laughs> but let's get into other folks' business. Okay. We got to know. <laughs> yeah. 